The Kellum Knights entered last week's play as one of the few remaining undefeated teams in the area, taking on a Bayside Marlins team looking to knock it off its perch. This game being taken place at Kellum High School as Bayside and Kellum renewing acquaintances on the hardwood. Down low early on, the Marlins looking to take advantage of the interior as a shot is put up and in by Jeffrey Battle. Battle with a nice move on the interior. Chris had a bit of a mismatch there over the shorter defender, and he took advantage of it, but you see Kellum coming right back, knocking down the outside shot. Knights moving the ball around the perimeter. Another three-point shot, this time from the top of the key, will fall for the Knights. Christian Burton hit the first one, Ramon Snowden. Hits the second one as the Knights are off and running early as down low Ross Ward receives a great pass from Burton and the easy layup off the glass. Back the other way come the Marlins as a three-pointer by Darian Thomas from the left corner is nothing but net and the Marlins trying to hang around early on in action. Marlins swinging around this time jumper from the left wing will fall for Bayside as they are now trailing just by a few points, 23-16 here. You see Coach Hassel talking to the troops here, trying to keep them motivated here, trying to keep this winning streak alive. Now Bayside moving the ball around. Alondo Jackson from way downtown knocks it in. He'd have 15 points off the bench for the Marlins as down low, the shot is off the rim. Rebound tapped out. Loose ball picked up by the Marlins. A hook shot put up and in off the glass by Casey King. Casey King in the right place at the right time, getting the put back. Now you see the Bayside trying to convert that turnover into points, but great hustle there by the Knight defense, able to get back, get a block shot, knock the ball out of bounds, and it will be their ball. Good hustle. We'll take another look at it here, Chris. A huge SWAT rejection as a, a, the block was made by Trey Freeman, and now Bayside back the other way. And again, this time getting into the block party was Chris Gardner with the block. And that leads to the fast break for Freeman, who lays it up with the right hand. Great job by Freeman. Take another look at it here. It starts off with the defensive play on one end, which leads to a fast break, and they're able to convert it. And you see now leading 33 to 24 are the Knights. Going into the second half, Kellum's lead is nine, but Darian Thomas looking to chip into it, gets the layup there. And off the miss, the putback off the glass, up and good for Brandon Stewart of the Marlins. But Trey Freeman. 16-footer, in and out, rebound, tapped, put back up and in by Ed Reddick. Reddick, once again, reading the glass, got the put back to go. See the Knights still going to the interior. Now the kick out to the perimeter, three-point shots knocked down from the left wing. Big shot for Kellum. Trey Freeman, three of his 22 points on the night, as again he drives and finishes with the left hand as Kellum now exerting their dominance on this Marlins team. And the layup for Christian Burton. He had 10 points for the Knights. They had four players in double figures as the lead balloons to 22. Speaking of balloons, as we see the behind the back move, now down low, the put back up and good for Christian McNeil. McNeil got to feed the big man in the paint. Now Kellen back on offense, he'll move the ball around. Nice interior look, finds him for the alley-oop tip in. Great play, great read there by the Knights. Ramon Snowden, he had 20 points on the evening, a 75-52 romp for the Knights all over the Marlins. Trey Freeman with 22 points, Darian Thomas and Alondo Jackson, each in double figures for the Marlins. As we take a look at the Beach District, Callum is the first in district play and the lone undefeated team remaining in Southampton Roads. The Ocean Lakes Dolphins rallied from a 17-point fourth quarter deficit to beat First Colonial in overtime as they connected on 10 of 13 free throws in the extra frame. And Princess Anne's Elizabeth Williams returned from her knee injury as the Princess Anne Cavaliers collect their 100th consecutive Beach District win in a victory over Salem.